What's going on guys? Evan the Dark Souls 2 enthusiast here bringing another Dark Souls gameplay commentary and it has been a long awaited. Uh, the last upload was for the patch uh, version 1.06 so it's been quite a while since we've played. Um, as always I'm going to kind of walk you through what to expect in this video and you know hopefully you guys will enjoy. So first up uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about what I'm doing right now and why the uploads have been so infrequent because I have been getting some messages. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that it was probably going to be a pretty slow upload schedule for about two months there, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and throw something out there so you guys would know what's going on. So we'll talk a little bit about where I am with my life. Um, that won't take too long. Then we're going to talk about some uh, upcoming games and things I want to comment, provide some commentary for this channel. Uh, I'll be picking up some what were dead series is and bringing them back. So by popular demand, we're going to finish the Final Fantasy VIII playthrough on PC, uh, the Steam version. I just got done recording some footage for it today, actually, so we should be able to do commentary for it uh, very soon. Okay, we're going to talk about Defense Grid 2, which is a game that I'm hoping will come to the channel. Uh, more Dota's coming back to this channel. I kind of got out of the Dota for a while there, but it's probably going to be coming back. We're going to talk a little bit about Dark Souls 2, probably the lion's share about Dark Souls 2. And we're going to talk about some suggestions. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Dark Souls 2 updates in general. That's a larger topic, because Dark Souls is kind of what's been the focus on this channel for the last three months or so. And then we're going to talk about maybe some Hearthstone if we have time. And as always, we have some timeline events um, where we won't actually have commentary during those periods. And total video length is about minute 30, or excuse me, 37 minutes, give or take. Um, there is going to be some PvP in this video, uh, a couple Grey Spirits with all the BM flasking versus all the double teams. So, you know, look forward to that. I know everyone loves a good, uh, a good <laughs> little PvP there. So, anyway, let's jump into the uh, updates. And I am still in the Black Hills of South Dakota, which comes with all kinds of limitations, which, uh, you know, has really, really reduced the amount of uploads we do. Um, oh, and of course, this upload will be the Iron Keep, as it says in the video description. So, I effectively work five days a week out here when I am in the Black Hills of South Dakota. And I am out there for a length of just under three months, just shy of three months. Like, two months and three weeks I think it is actually so I'm out here for a while every year and um, I always mean to build up a lot of archival footage before I go out there so I can keep uploading um, even though I probably don't have time to actually provide commentary and gameplay but I once again like last year didn't get enough archival footage I got Dark Souls 2 archival footage but I didn't actually put the commentary over it so I kind of thought that you know what's the big deal I'll just do the commentary you know while I'm in the um, Black Hills, you know, I'll just do commentary and not play games. Well, that way it didn't work, because while I enjoy doing commentary, it's still, uh, you know, there's still some work involved. I still do a little sheet timeline to keep myself uh, prepped and to try to memorize the ums and the doos and the just random pauses in my commentary. It doesn't always work, but I prefer to do a little bit of rehearsal um, rather than right off the cuff. Now, I rarely actually edit my commentary. Once I put the track on it, I, I just play it out, because I think it's a little more natural than if I carefully and meticulously uh, constructed the perfect errorless commentary. Some people probably prefer that, and I'd say overall editing would result in higher co or higher quality, but eh, everyone's got their own style. I guess my style is just a little more, uh, little more basic. So, you know, uh, also while I'm out here, I'm working, you know, oh, I have two days off and I probably work 55 to 60 hours a week. Um, or more on the days I'm not off. So it's very busy out here. I've talked about this in other videos. Um, exhausting even. Very rewarding work. It's great for my resume. It's great for me. It gives me a chance to do things I don't normally get to do at my job, which is always a always a treat, but it comes at a cost, right? Long work days gets in the way of commentary, and after those long work days, I'm just normally not all that motivated to do commentary. I just kind of want to crawl off and die somewhere, I guess. But um, So that, that got in the way, and... Not only that, but I have terrible internet out here. I mean, I've always had terrible internet. That's plagued this channel since its inception when I was an undergrad in college four or five years ago. I mean, there's always been problems with my internet because I've always been living on college campuses, and I still live on a college campus um, as an employee because I'm a hall director. So I can never just, you know, get good internet scrub because that's always the thing. GG, get good internet, get off Walmart internet. Like, well, I'm actually on university internet, which varies between sexy and fast and new to garbage and I've had varying qualities to my network you know throughout my life and <laughs> god 
as much as telecommunications sucks in the United States, I could certainly do better than this. So that's kind of um, where my internet is, and that makes uploading a challenge because I can't actually play anything online. I can only play single player games essentially because I ping too high. Uh, the internet here, using Dota as the catalyst for measure, the catalyst, uh, using the method for measure, you know, I ping from between on USDs, which is the best pings I get, between 90 to 110 ping, and that's the best I got. You know, and that's not too bad, it's completely playable. The problem is probably every three minutes it'll spike up to six or seven hundred ping and it'll just be terrible. And as a result, I can't really play any games uh, that aren't like turn-based. So my online gaming is limited essentially to Hearthstone or taking my laptop and driving you know, into town and getting on like McDonald's Wi-Fi. But even on the off chance I do that, which has been a rarity, um, I don't have the equipment there to record the gameplay on my laptop. I mean, I could use DX Story on my laptop, but it's a laptop, and it's just not really uh, equipped to handle, you know, video recording, editing while I play. I'd have to lower my resolution, my graphics settings, and but it's not about that. I'd rather just wait. Sure, it puts a huge delay on the channel, but this isn't like number one super watch channel, make ten thousand dollars a video or something. You know, we aren't, we aren't one of those people. So that gives me the opportunity to only upload when I can put out quality work. So. Not only do I have no internet, I have no phone service, because at one time I've been like, well, maybe I'll just tether it to my phone and you know, pay a crap load on my phone for data. Nah, that didn't work either. I have no service out here. I can't even make phone calls out here. So pretty limited life for someone like me who's wired in and telecommunications is such a big deal. So the first problem is I live in the United States. The second problem is I'm out in the Black Hills. And um, we're not going to get into this video. For those of you that don't know, telecoms in the United States sucks. Because we are a capitalist society, and not necessarily... So this is not a political statement, this is acknowledgement of facts. You know, I'm not looking for a political debate in this video, probably others. I'm actually a political science major in a life gone by, so I'm, I'm into it. But um, anyway, telecoms in this country sucks, in the United States. Uh, they're very expensive and they're very slow, and there's a lot of reasons for that, mostly due to corporate greed, which uh, gets tiresome. It kind of makes me want to move, but frankly, uh, despite all the problems with my country, I got that uh, American pride. So. That's pretty much how it is, but I'm going to try to start doing a video a week to get geared up for you know, the three uploads a week I try to do when I'm on main campus. Of course, I rarely meet my goals, but you know, setting goals definitely gets me to do uploads more often than not. Uh, I should be back on main campus in about three weeks, so there'll probably be three or four uploads between now and then, uh, counting this one, and then I'll be back on main campus where we can hopefully do at least two uploads a week minimum, like one on the weekend and one on a slow work day. So that's kind of the goal um, for the future. But we are going to be coming up on a timeline event here in about a minute. So one minute warning before we fight the Smelter Demon. Um, which is, you know, I'll use this little time to say, the only other thing I've been doing this summer is trying to get back into running. Uh, on and off, I try to consider myself a runner. And, you know, my fitness is very tremendously over the years. I used to be able to run, like, six miles in, like, 40 minutes, which, while not amazing, in fact, it's pretty slow. I was like, well, at least I ran six miles. And then, you know, I eventually came down. I could do, you know an eight minute mile for six miles, which, you know, was pretty good and things like that. And not, no amazing, you know, not an athlete or an Olympics champion, means, but it was, you know, a lot better than your average person, I'd say. So uh, I kind of gave up running during graduate school and I haven't really recovered since. Um, it's a lot harder to condition to run than run when you're in shape. So I've been working on getting myself back together for um, all the running. I'm up to two miles a day at 15, 16 minutes, so seven and a half to an eight minute mile. Pretty lame, but I gotta start somewhere, and I've, I've been working on that for a month or so here. Hopefully, by the time I'm back on main campus, I can at least do, you know, three miles in 24 minutes or less, and that will get me primed to do a, you know, basic novice um, 5K. But let's uh, pause for the little smelter demon fight, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
Praise the sun. There's the end of the smelter demon. So let's move on past where I am in my life and where the channel is and actually uh, move forward into some actual topics I want to talk about, which is the upcoming games I'm going to provide commentary over gameplay. Uh, some live, some not live. Because uh, Dark Souls 2 is just not going to cut it. We'll talk a little bit more after I talk about the other games. So we're going to continue the Final Fantasy VIII Steam playthrough. Um, it had a good following when I first started it, and that following drizzled away when I never actually finished it. But regardless of the remaining following, I still want to finish the Final Fantasy VIII commentary. And I put together a lot of resources and materials to make sure I provide good information as I finish that playthrough because while it's going to be live I don't want it to just kind of be a random rabble because there's plenty of that on YouTube for the Final Fantasy series for all of them and I want to provide actual like commentary over and I want to get all the Steam achievements because my goal is to get all the Steam achievements on every Final Fantasy or really any classic game they release on Steam so we're going to be continuing that that'll probably be like a once a week series uh, maybe every other week not because I don't like it but because you can only do so much of that stuff um, you know, commentary-wise, people get burned out on it pretty quick. Um, the occasional upload if it's very good, as in once a week. Anything more than that, I think, will exhaust my audience because it's not like a high, uh, it's not a fast-paced action game, you know. So that'll be the thing with Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, there'll be a lot of the triple triad card playing on there, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the no-level playthrough because the Final Fantasy VIII playthrough is, of course, a no-level. Um, Steam achievement, where we're trying to get all the achievements possible on Steam on one playthrough, then come back through and max out the rest. So that'll be the plan. Um, next up, Defense Grid 2 uh, has been announced, and I have the beta. I will not be uploading beta footage of it because I typically don't put put up betas of games outside of uh, Dota 2 because Defense of the Ancients was pretty much a full game before it left beta. Um, so there's going to be some. You know, Defense of the Ancients, or excuse me, there's going to be some Defense Grid coming to this channel. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm a huge fan of the original Defense Grid, and apparently if we get enough pre-order benchmarks, Defense Grid uh, 1 will be given to those with pre-order, which includes me. So if you're into the Defense Grid, if you're into tower defense games in general, pick up Defense Grid. I think it's the best tower defense I've personally played, and I like it a lot more than Plants vs. Zombies, which I know is very popular. So... It would be very cool if that game could make it because it's a good developer and they're quality games. And I'd like me put up all of Defense Grid 1 and 2 um, on my channel because I love them so much. So I want to show like um, some Defense Grid 2, likely all the gold medals on all the levels, which could get a little tedious, but they don't take long to play. And that'll be uh, the next big thing. And it'll be something new. I've got no tower defense on this channel. Um, I don't really have any kind of puzzle game on this channel. so. We need to have like a tower slash, you know, I used to be really into tower defense games, so have like a tower defense slash, uh, you know, puzzle game on this channel, which, you know, variety is a good thing. I want to try to put up a lot of different games on this channel, uh, which hasn't, I haven't really accomplished that goal. You know, taking a quick stock, I've got, you know, some RPG gameplay. I've, you know, I've got um, all the Steam achievements for Final Fantasy VII. I probably should have put that up, but when FF7 released on Steam, it seemed like everybody was doing a Let's Play of it, and I was, I don't want to be that guy, so that never came to pass. Um, you know, and I've got you know some Armored Core on here, which I'm very proud of. Very few people watch it, but I really like my Armored Core stuff because I thought I was pretty good at Armored Core back when it was a single-player game. I suck at Armored Core as a multiplayer game, and frankly, I have no intention of getting good at it. So oh, I'm so glad that guy didn't one-shot me, <laughs> that NPC there. So I also have um, you know some old Call of Duty gameplay on here, and. You know, I'll probably start putting Call of Duty gameplay on this channel if Call of Duty ever starts being a real game again. And I know it's a polarizing series, but I still maintain that Call of Duty Black Ops was an amazing FPS game in Modern Warfare 2. You know, COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops were all amazing Call of Duty games that I personally played the hell out of and would play again. The rest of them, uh, Black Ops 2 is fine, I guess. You know, this isn't a Call of Duty commentary, but, you know, if we could get back to a Call of Duty I like... I'd probably give it another go. I bought Ghost with high aspirations of putting it on this YouTube channel, and Ghost sucked. Um, I hate Ghosts. I'm sure there are people out there that like it. I'm not one of them, and nothing anybody says can convince me that that's a good game. Uh, Ghost stole my money, so maybe when Advanced Warfare comes out, I might start doing some commentary of that. Maybe not. Um, I might wait for the next Treyarch installment. We'll see. But I'd like to bring some FPS back to this channel, which was the channel's roots, and you know, a couple people that watch my old FPS stuff were actually still with the channel because they like my content. And 
that's pretty cool. And I'd like to, if nothing else, do a little service to them to bring back some of what brought them to the channel here. And let me tell you guys, I really miss Call of Duty Black Ops 1, the original. I've only uh, had a bigger following now. Of course, it's kind of fallen into disfavor as all old Call of Duties go. But I heard World of War is really good on the PC, but eh, I'm not really a PC shooter. I suck with mouse and keyboard, and I thought about learning, but I just kind of opted out of it. I've already learned to play FPS on pads, on pad really well. And, you know, I like it on pad. I like the tactile feel. So, we'll see what happens. Um... Obviously, I'd like to bring back some Defense of the Ancients, Dota 2. I've got a lot of a lot of time, money, and energy invested on a free-to-play game, and I really love it. Um, I'd like to bring it back. The reason I stopped doing it was um, I'm not very good at Dota. I'd like to be. I don't think I'm awful, um, but you know, I'm not good enough to really show people some sort of like super sick gameplay. And the other problem was I, I tend to always be playing with Flesh, and Flesh is a great guy and a good friend of mine. And please check out his channel if you haven't. Um, he's one of my featured channels. But the, uh, the downer on that thing was, you know, while I enjoy talking to him on and putting up our live chat on Mumble, and I think some other people enjoy it too, a lot of people just you know, don't understand our inside jokes. We're basically just rambling a commentary over some, you know, maybe slightly above average gameplay, like B minus, C plus gameplay. And, once again, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's definitely isn't going to catch on unless I put more time into it. So if I go back to Dota 2, I think I need to provide some actual like gameplay commentary as I play, as opposed to just on Mumble with Flash, or at least a variety. I mean, sometimes with Flash, sometimes not. We'll have to see. Uh, I meant to, clearly meant to kill the NPC with my Sunlight Spear. What a failure. Now I'm going to get invaded by the second one. I'm going to get ganked. I'm going to get all crushed. Um... Anyway, the last thing I'd like to talk about with upcoming games is, you know, I'm really open to suggestions. I know a lot of uh, people that do commentary for gameplay say, like, oh, sure you are, I'll suggest a game and you'll never actually play it. Like, okay, that's not how it's going to work here. Um, because I um, have a small subscriber base of around 2.3K-ish, you know, I can actually take the time to look at what people are suggesting. Now, by no means does that uh, mean I'll definitely play the game you suggest. Like, don't suggest any FPS to me on PC because I won't play it. But you know, if you want to suggest any kind of PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, or you know anything else for this channel from PC, I mean, you know, I'll definitely consider. I'll actually read the comments, look at the trailers, and consider it. Um, PM me or leave a comment. Preferably leave a comment so others can give their feedback. So really, though, let me know because there's a good chance um, something that's suggested will be picked. So, you know, also I'm willing to explore other genres, so we'll see what happens. So don't think that I'm not going to play uh, something a little out of the ordinary, because I definitely will. Okay, now the uh, big topic here. We've got, eh, it's about 19 in, and at the 34 minute mark, the last giant fight starts, and that'll be the end of the commentary. So we've got, um, well, it's about 20 minutes in, so we've got a little over 10 minutes in. That's it's probably a good thing, because having some time to actually talk about this uh, is a good thing. And this might sound like a ranting and raving session. I, I really don't mean it to. This is just me explaining, you know, one of the reasons why Dark Souls 2 is probably not going to be a mainstay on this channel. And some updates on the game in general. Um, okay, so first and foremost, I am definitely going to finish the Dark Souls 2 uh, commentary series. We will have a complete Let's Play on this channel. I've got all the footage stocked on my computer and backed up because I, I had a playthrough of Demon Souls a long time ago and I lost so much footage uh, to a hard drive failure I just never went back to it. It's so demoralized. So that's kind of an archaic series on this channel. I should either like delete or go back and finish. But anyway, um, the direction this uh, Dark Souls 2 is going, I just can't agree with. Um, all in all, I think this game is you know a fine game. It's got a lot of my time. I enjoyed playing it. It's a great single player game. I think the multiplayer and the PvP is trash. Um, and I could give you an exhaustive list of things I like, things I don't like. I, you know, I could go on for hours about that, but I, I don't really want to, frankly. Um, I don't think anything I'll say is profound or new. It's all just, you know, this is the ego Zeno tilt on what everybody else is or isn't saying. Um, and so I guess I kind of want to uh, just hit the big things about this game, some updates on where I am with it. And, how I feel about it. So, um, I, I wanted to get the Platinum on Steam. I don't really care about my PlayStation trophies. I, 
think the trophy system sucks, and I like the Steam system a lot more, and I like the Xbox tr uh, achievements the most. Uh, the gamer score was pretty sick. But anyway, um, I'm more committed to PC gaming and Steam than I am the Xbox. I, I don't tend to buy an X-Bone, and I have a PlayStation 4, so I kind of care about trophies, but not nearly as much as I care about Steam achievements. So I wanted to get all the Steam achievements, and... You know, some of the Steam achievements for Dark Souls 2 suck. Like, I got only thing against, like, hard-to-get achievements, but, man, on this game, I pretty much feel like they suck pretty hard, and I, I just... It became a chore to get them. Um, like, the All Miracles and the All Pyromancies and the All Sorceries ones all suck. Uh, sorceries isn't that bad. To get All Sorceries, you have to either burn Bonfire aesthetics or go into New Game Plus, and... No, I think that's pretty reasonable. Easy? No. Reasonable? Yeah. And I don't mind it taking some time and being kind of hard, but... Yeah. The other ones, the all miracles, the all pyromancies, and the all hexes, those... those suck. Because you basically have to, uh... Oh no, it's actually all hexes is easier than all sorcerers. Anyway, regardless, you have to go into New Game Plus Plus to get them. You have two options. You can either PvP like crazy, which was my original plan. Like, I wasn't going to play the same character for a million years. I was just going to, you know, rank up a covenant and get all the miracles, and that would be all the cool, because I'd have a ton of PvP footage for the channel then, and I'd get my Steam achievements, and that was, you know, that was the plan. Um, but it never worked out, because, frankly, I think the PvP on this game sucks. Like, I can't stand it. I don't like it. Um, there are things I enjoy, and I've had some good matches on here, but... This is not going to be like a one-stop shop for Dark Souls 2 PvP. I know a lot of people are looking for those kind of channels, you know, the PvP channels, and there's a lot of good ones out there. I'm not going to be one of those channels. I think PvP in this game sucks. Uh, it's playable, it's by no means unplayable, but I'd rather play pretty much anything else that I actually enjoy. And basically for me, the killer of this game was Soul Memory. It's a very polarizing topic. I know some people who personally I think are delusional I think it was great for the series but I am not one of those people I can't stand soul memory and it basically ruined the in-game PvP content for me because um, frankly everyone becomes max level in PvP uh, nothing agitates me more than people who say like arbitrary level caps are stupid I like being able to play my character however I want like as if this is some sort of like role-playing experience if it is a role-playing experience for you that's terrific you know, yippee ki yay. But uh, for me, it's not. While I do role play characters, I single player them because I don't see how there's any kind of role playing when you are like standing around in invasion areas looking for fights. Like I'm sure you you can find a story for anything. I mean, but I it's not for me. So soul memory sucks. I got tired of playing against maximum armor, maximum HP, maximum stamina. You know, cookie cutter builds all day long. Same fight over and over and over, and, you know, I didn't want to max my character out legitimately or through glitching, and there was a lot of both, and it just, it just killed me. That coupled with the fact that the PC is pretty easy for people to hack, and the fact that people do hack the hell out of the PC, it just, it wasn't a thing for me. It had no staying power, uh, between soul memory, basically killing build diversity, and, um, the weapons, and the armor feeling like they're off balance. I mean, I like a lot about what they did with this game. I like the, you know, the nerfing of the backstab, because I got tired of backstab fishing. But I like the guard break, the shield break a lot. I think that's awesome, being able to break guard and just basically win the fight. Actually kind of counter shield uh, turtling. So a lot of cool things were done, but the things that were really good for the PvP felt gimmicky, like something that probably took five minutes to put into the game. That's an arbitrary number, of course. You know, I don't know how long it takes to implement things in games, but nothing revolutionary, just nice changes, uh, improvements. So that was really cool, but in, in, you know, in the end, way more harm than good. And you know, I'd rather just play Dark Souls One PvP. You know, I wish, I wish Dark Souls One had Steam achievements because. You know, I've gotten the Platinum uh, for Dark Souls 1 on the PlayStation and the Xbox, so you know, I've played the hell out of Dark Souls 1 and never regretted it. Uh, never really got bored with it. Whereas this game, even getting the Platinum on one character felt like such a chore. I mean, I didn't even play through a whole second go of New Game Plus Plus. I mean, I just went straight to the Shrine of Winter, ate a bunch of souls, opened the gate, and talked to Walliger and bought all my things. That was it, and I, 
I'm never going back, man. Um, I just don't find it fun. Uh, every fight in this game started the exact same way. I walk out and whatever gear I think looks cool, fashion soul slash is functional, but it didn't matter because all of my opponents would walk out in full hables and that just got old. I mean, I know there's a patch coming with a lot of balances and nerfs and things like that, but it doesn't solve the main problem, which is soul memory. Until soul memory is patched, there's really no reason to use anything but you know the heaviest of armor with the max level, and there's no way to control for that. So it just sucks. There's so many problems with soul memory, um, including you know, the blood stain issue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, I've talked about the soul memory issue at length. A lot of people have talked about soul memory at length, and ultimately, this game's PvP just I'm, I'm not about it. I would would not play again. Not interested in playing it again. I've probably got about a thousand matches of PvP between all my characters, which is a relatively no, low number, but it was enough for me to get a feel for it, to see what it was all about, didn't come close to mastering it, and don't plan on it. Um, you know, I'm mumbling here because I feel kind of bad because I had such high aspirations of doing it, but those have passed, my fate has fallen, screw this game's PvP. Uh, the PvE is fine, though. I have no problem with this game's PvE. My only gripe is sort of personal in that I think adaptability is a terrible thing to put into the game because I like rolling to stay consistent between characters so I can play multiple characters and get it all figured out, but whatever. You know, that's personal taste. I see the value in adaptability uh, in terms of character customization and stuff like that, but it's just not, uh, not my thing. You know, if I was going to play like an action RPG on this channel again, it would either be the next Souls game. Uh, spiritual successful to Dark Souls, hint hint, or maybe I'd go hit up like the old Elder Scrolls Morrowind, not Skyrim, screw Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Morrowind. So definitely, if anybody's interested in seeing Elder Scrolls Morrowind, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I'm a beast at that game. I mean, you name something on the Elder Scrolls games, I, uh, Morrowind that is, and I probably know it. I have the location of almost every unique item memorized, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. You know, brag, brag, brag. But really, though, I'm like an expert at that game, so I think it could provide some really deep content. But the game is old, and it's a niche game and a niche field. So I don't know if anybody would be interested in seeing it, um, but I'm definitely interested in uploading it. And it's one of the games where, you know, I could play it by myself and not really get, you know, feel the need to upload it. So, you know, I don't have to put that on the channel. There's other games we can do. But if, you know, you know if 10 people are interested in seeing some Morrowind content, like, let me know in the comments, PM me, do something, because... Man, I'm just looking for an excuse to play it. I mean, beyond the fact that I love it. So, that's the Elder Scrolls Morrowind pitch, um, the Dark Souls thing. I do have the Platinum on this game. I have all the Steam achievements, so you can check that out if you're interested. Um, if anybody doesn't believe it. But, it's really not that hard to get. It's just time-consuming to get and a boring grind. So, you know, this game is pretty much past. Uh, I thought it was going to last a lot longer on this channel and a lot longer for me as a game, but it didn't. Um, I do have the season pass, and I will be putting DLC playthroughs on the channel, but you know, they'll be just that, as let's plays of the single player, and um, let's plays of that kind of stuff, of the DLCs, and if I get invaded, of course, while I'm PvE, and that stuff will show up in the, in the footage, I never edit that out, even if I lose, but that's pretty much it for Dark Souls 2, so sorry if you're hoping for more, we will definitely be finishing the let's play of it. Um, we will be showing whatever archival PvP footage I have. We'll be talking about patch notes, and we'll be doing Dark Souls news. We'll be doing basically everything with this game, except doing another Let's Play, and except doing more PvP. Um, you know, I actually had like this dream of being like the number one one-stop for PvE in Dark Souls 2. Tall order with people like Epic Name Bro and stuff like that, but I figured if I just kept doing different playthroughs with different characters, you know, I could really establish myself as like, oh, if, if you want to see how that works in PvE, you can go on Ego Zeno's channel, and he's got probably any builds you can think of. Like, that was the goal. But this game just doesn't have the shelf life or the longevity for me to rationalize it. And that's disappointing, but, you know, that's just how it is. So, basically, we're coming up on the uh, last fight here, uh, the Iron Giant. Wait, <laughs> Old Iron King, Iron Giant, Dark Souls 1. See how much I missed Dark Souls 1. Old Iron King, so we're going to kill the uh, last couple of minutes here by talking about um, a game I'm very torn on, not only as a player, but as someone who thought about putting it on this channel in bulk, which is uh, Blizzard's new game, Hearthstone. So, I, I really like the game. I like, you know, TCGs and CCGs in general, but 
Guys, the RNG on that game is maddening. And let me preface by saying any game with RNG, I recognize that RNG is always balanced against skill. You know, very few games other than like War have ever been actually just designed to be raw RNG. You know, there's always skill involved, otherwise it wouldn't be much of a game. You like flipping coins and you know, calling it a <laughs> flipping coins and calling it a, a sport. Like no. But at the same time, the RNG in Hearthstone seems very high, even by TCG, CCG standards. And as someone who was an avid Magic the Gathering player, who's gotten out of it due to the crippling expense of Magic the Gathering, you know, I just, it's like I can't handle it. Um, but I really like the game's feel. I like the, the card animations. It's such high quality. It's a good Blizzard product. But it seems like the, I mean, as someone who's not amazing at Hearthstone, I feel like the skill cap is still you know, relatively low. Like, I feel like the greatest skill in Hearthstone, as far as I can tell, is being able to, you know, since the matchmaking is just ever-changing and people can just matchmake super quick, you know, I feel like the the trick to it is essentially being able to adjust your deck based on what you're playing against over the course of, you know, a day or two, and that's how you rank up quickly, but, you know, the ranking system on there is such a grind fest. I mean, it sucks. It's not like StarCraft, where I feel like being good will consistently get you up there. I mean, Hearthstone... Once you get to the high ranks, you know, you can, you know, and I know people always cite like Trump and Kriparian and other amazing Hearthstone players who are pillars in the community and say like, oh, they always get what they need, Ooh, skills, everything. It is, but only to a point. I mean, even Trump, you know, the, the legendary Trump will tell you getting to legendary is just you know, a matter of patience and grinding, you know. If you can maintain a 60% win rate, you will eventually get to legendary, and I am positive I can maintain that win rate. But... I don't want to. I mean, it takes a very long, it takes a lot of matches. And since I favor control decks over the balls to the walls aggro that Hearthstone's known for, it's, it's just a long process. And I, I can't really rationalize it. And as cards come out, it's, it's going to get you know even more expensive to play or more expensive to build collections. And so it's like I really want to play because I really like the game, but I don't think I could ever play it seriously. Which is kind of the question. Like, do I want to bring that onto this channel as like a casual Hearthstone where I just, you know, show some rank, show some arena, or maybe that's just not what we want to see on this channel. Um, and I really need feedback on this one because, you know, I've thought about what do I want to do, and frankly I'm being, you know, indecisive, which is not like me when it comes to gaming. I'm pretty decisive with, I like this game, or this game blows. Like, I'm pretty quick to make up my decision. Hearthstone, I'm very torn on. I can give you a thousand reasons I like it and a thousand reasons I hate it. So... If I get some feedback on maybe people like to see this on this channel, there's been a couple Hearthstone uploads to this channel, nothing major. Um, the, the quality of the uploads will go up from what they were in the past because I know a lot more about the game now. But, you know, give me some thoughts, guys, on if you think that might be good on the channel. And other than that, that's all I want to cover. I've got some uh, other topics on the back burner for the next uh, commentary. And among those are, like, MMORPGs and are my, am I going to play one? You know, why don't I play one? What are the pitfalls for me? Um, RNG and video gaming, I wanted to talk about that again as I have in the past. And I want to talk about like chess. Because I'm kind of on this like chess kick right now. And I'm also thinking about maybe doing some piano. I'm actually a pretty decent piano player and I was going to do some piano stuff on the channel. But anyway, that's all the time we have. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone next time.